The treatment of esophageal atresia depends on essentially the type. So for type C, for example, type C, which is the most common, in which you have a atresia or a blind ending upper pouch and a fistula to the lower pouch, we essentially have two goals for the operation. The most important goal is disconnecting that fistula or separating the airway from the esophagus because normally they should be each their own tube. And then the secondary goal is to bring the two ends of the esophagus together. Generally with type C esophageal atresia, the distance between the upper portion of the esophagus and the lower portion of the esophagus is not too great and we can achieve both goals at the same operation. With the next most common form of esophageal atresia type A, the gap can be quite long and in that scenario trying to put the two ends of the esophagus together may be challenging at one operation and oftentimes those babies need more than one trip to the operating room.